This is a 1940s pattern. Butterick 4203, size 16, bust 34, for 50 cents. It is darling. Size 16 would be a bust of 34, waist 28, a hip 37, one piece dress, detachable peplum. Soft daytime dress features a gay keyhole neck ascended by a bow in A, cap sleeves A, balloon sleeves B, the charming detachable peplum which smartly accents the hip line may be in self fabric or eyelet edging for gore skirt. I picked up this pattern for five dollars at a vintage show and I wanted to make it right away. I grabbed some fabric and some ribbon that I had just to make it and see what it did. I did the shorter version, the shorter sleeve version, and it's darling. I'm telling you, my daughter, it actually fits her, and she's probably a size four or six today. So this is a size 16 from 1940s. The pemblum, I started to use fabric paint and decided to um, paint it to add color, and I was gonna add more color to it, and my daughter told me to stop, that she liked it just the way it was. She said if I actually shortened the skirt, she would wear it, which quite impressed me. It's a beautiful pattern. It was fun to make. So for the ribbon, should actually go fully around the pemblum. I only had enough to do the bow on the top and the bow for the pemblum, so I had to, you know, fake my way through. It would have been all ribbon up here, which it's not, but that would have been nice. I did not have enough fabric to do the pemblum, so I had to piece, sew pieces together to make it. That's all right. I kept going, and if I take the pemblum off, if you notice on the back, I ran out of fabric again, so I had to piece so pieces together, I had enough for one half of the back. So I sewed pieces together to make another panel and then I took the one that was full and started to re-sew pieces for that too, just so I could get it to be consistently bad in the back. But she didn't even notice. I'm like, you don't notice there's panels? She's like, no, don't worry about it. So the thing was I wanted to finish the dress. I don't know if I want to shorten it. I think I want to keep it as my dress to show people. I don't know. Should I shorten it and give it to her? She'll wear it once and then I'll have lost the length of it. I actually saw a video in which Queen Elizabeth wore a pemblum dress. Um, there was a short trip. I think she was in Africa and she had a white beautiful dress on. It was a black and white video obviously. But she had a pemblum on it. And I'm like, it is my dress. So here's the skirt for the pemblum dress. It has no markings. Oh. It does have a stamped out number that tells you what piece this is. The center holes, I think, are to tell you about the grain line. It does have notches. And they ask for 5 8 seam allowance. And I think the holes here tell you that, that that's 5 8 Because back then they wouldn't have had indicators on their sewing machine. I don't think. I don't know. But that's what the pattern looks like. So that made it fun. And then take the pendulum out. So that is the 1940s pemblum dress, green, accented ribbon above the keyhole and on the pemblum with fabric painted to show sparks of excitement in the color.